Let's make a hat to hide the obvious wig roots covering that for that because it, it's obvious it's a wig. I mean, it's always going to be obvious. But I'm making a hat today, a little bucket hat to be really specific, out of these old trousers, which are see-through, and then these one i moved back home from sheffield i'm probably still gonna go up every now and then i'm getting a job here over summer and going traveling you know when you can like work for accommodation that kind of stuff you know you know what it is. i really want to make egg hats like a like a like a, the, the base is the yolk obviously and then you got the white the white stuff as the rim. I don't know how terms. Now my sewing is not, it's very beginner level. I've sewn a few things. Um, I made this tote bag out of an old duvet. Um, it's got a little, sorry my hands look weird because I'm trying to dry this thumb. I don't know why I just did the one thumb when I knew that I'd have. It's got a little pocket. Then the inside is lined with a, it's like a messy, but it hasn't broken and that's all I need a bag for so. I'm gonna try a reversible bucket hat, but if it's just one way, it, that's fine. It's so see-through. Now it's not gonna look see-through, is it? That's great. <laughs> Guess lighting my subscribers. Um, so yeah, this will be on one side. First thing I'm gonna do is get my really old, really cute heffalump. Is it heffalump? Huffalump? He hats. They're a great way to hide. Yes, they are, Martha. Well done. And what's a better time to hide than when the sun's out and it makes you see? Cut out the material and then sew the sides that are going to be facing together. I'm going to be using some Love Heart pins. Two of these are not going to fit around my head. Come on, two of these. One, two. Not even with a six. I'm just going to walk now, so we're going to use that. What are you eating? Is that a needle? Mm. Take that needle out of your mouth! It's what sewers do! Makes sense now. I just don't listen. So with the sides, you have to fold the material underneath. I'm still not listening, but it's all guesswork really, isn't it? So you get that. Just have a rope right there. these two green threads and I've gone for this one so we're just gonna connect these two I feel like I need to censor that we've got our bobbin and I'm gonna be using this black thread <laughs> that always comes off so I usually need two hands like I'll, I'll be like I'll be like that on one I'll line it up and then So now face together the fabrics of the side and pin. There's been another, another problem. Mm -hmm. So you know that cool fabric? Turns out I can't sew every single fabric with the same needle because this is polyester and it was, the, it was like threaded correctly. Let me just add. I've ordered some Called stretch needles that um, because I want to obviously make a hat pronto and I'm impatient. Why am I bleeding already? Okay, I cut up and ironed some pieces from some old duvet covers. I've only done the side of one bit of fabric. It's okay because look at this perfect circle I cut. So I've been experimenting with loads of different materials. Um, I tried denim, which I think is like the safest bet because I bought some needles. Polyester, 
don't think that's the best thing to make a pocket out, out of. And I tried some cotton from my parents' old bed sheets. This is the side I know I'm gonna have. <laughs> it should be like that. I kind of like this one. Well, hello. Um, yes, so after a lot of trials and tribulations and breakdowns, imagine breaking down over a hat. A hat. The interfacing, no, mm -mm. I probably did this wrong, but you are supposed to iron interfacing to the rim in order for it, in order, in order, in order for it to stand out, but it's still floppy. I've got my little thing on. So I'll take it off to take pictures properly. I should probably trim around this. This might be my summer hat for this year. It looks like a, you know those little baby bonnets? I, I told myself nothing was gonna go wrong, but in my conscience, I knew. And I think you knew, and I think we all knew. I don't know. I found it frustrating for the most part, but I like my little baby bonnet. I feel like a frog lady. I just need the eyes. Or I could put, because there's like cre a crease there. So I'm thinking putting like a material flower up there. It could be like a gardening hat. This was totally supposed to be a summer hat. Let's go in the sun. 